October 10th, 2018. Hurricane Michael hits the continental U.S. Nobody knew Michael was going to happen. It was a little blip on the radar, and all of a sudden, two and a half days later, it absolutely clobbered the southeast. When it was over, more than 4,000 miles of coastland were destroyed. And this region just endured one of the worst hurricanes in American history. The worst hurricane to ever hit. Michael was, was horrible. You know, loss of lives, loss of property. The beaches in Florida were just gone. After the storm had passed, the clock is absolutely ticking. At that point, when you're living out of a motel room, you need to know, how do I pay for this motel room? I have no clothes, no possessions, nothing. If we can help people rebuild much more quickly, it's going to get people back in a home faster. Luckily, the Geospatial Insurance Consortium, a group that works with the insurance industry to map disaster damage, was about to deploy technology that would speed up payouts to those in need like never before. Just days after Hurricane Michael cleared out, GIC was in the air. Their first mission, to capture extremely high resolution aerial images of the devastation. 7, 7, disaster aerial survey in the area. From sunup to sundown along the coast, highest damage, we want that as a priority. Cities, population density, that's a second priority. We want to get the most people covered as fast as possible. Right. Make an adjustment on the camera, so if you want to extend your line, just about a minute. We flew 85,000 square kilometers of high resolution aerial imagery in two and a half flight days. That's larger than Ireland. Within 24 hours, the images are delivered to GIC's headquarters, where they're processed into workable maps using ESRI's geospatial cloud technology. One of the most powerful elements of this is the comparison of imagery. It's that change. Looking at the before and after, it's a swiping tool. You start to realize the magnitude of what just happened. It's horrific to see an entire community wiped out, but it's really powerful too. We know who needs to be taken care of, and it's that change in that location data that really enables that. Now, insurance companies that are members of GIC have access to the entire collection of map imagery and more. You get a web portal, you get a data feed of all that imagery that we produce. They type in an address, they look at the property. By layering policyholder data with damaged property using ESRI technology, they quickly see who's in the greatest need of rebuilding funds with pinpoint accuracy. So Hurricane Katrina took well over a month before they saw any of that imagery. We're doing that in 16 hours. Insurance companies and Hurricane Michael made claims decisions the day the imagery came back. That's how fast we're talking. Never before had, had you been able to validate the damage and now you can pay claims even the same day. This partnership with both the collection, the processing, this isn't available anywhere else, and this is a unique capability in the world today. We haven't even begun to see where this is going. Everything is going to be based on geospatial data. This is literally going to be, I think, the most influential aspect of sort of future society. We need location intelligence, and leveraging Esri's cloud technology along with the imagery provided by the GIC. We're building a geospatial ecosystem that enables insurers to make a difference in people's lives, and it enables them to see what others can't.